right, this here's my dad's old uh, paint sprayer. And I don't really want to run that 415 through it. I've been told that the stuff is so hard to clean, you ought to use it with something you don't mind throwing away. So, but I, I was looking at this pressure setup because you can't run, you know, 100 pounds of air pressure on this thing. It's supposed to be like 15 to 20 pounds. And I've got this little pressurized gizmo right here that I can use to adjust the pressure for this thing. So I'm thinking, well, that would be perfect. And it looks like this, which is the screw that works that, would screw right into there if I take that off. That's kind of the plan. I'm going to take this uh, gauge off and attach it over here. And then uh, we'll use that to make this thing work. That's the plan. Alrighty then, I made the hardware store run. And the way this little uh, paint sprayer works is this thing is designed to screw onto the uh, cap of a little air aerosol bottle. I didn't want to do that, I wanted to run it off my compressor. So I had to adapt to get there. So I went up to the hardware store and I located one of these, which is probably a gas fitting. And uh, one end of this gas fitting fits into that which gets me good there. And then I've got a plumbing fitting right here. And this plumbing fitting fits that. And then I've got an air compressor fitting here that fits that. So with this adaptation, I should be able to turn the pressure down on my air compressor. This is supposed to run 15 to 30 pounds. And this is actually a, an adjuster screw right here to adjust pressure. So I should be able to set my pressure at 30 pounds hook this up and then adjust this to get my pressure right and then this line goes into here and then this line goes into here and then this air this paint bottle goes into the bottom of that so with all that said we should be able to rig up a little rig where I can spray that pour 15 without creating so much fumes so much overspray and wasting a lot of it because it's hard to paint up but I can spray this up and um, so my next thing I want to do is make sure I can thin, I can clean this stuff. What I mean by that is um, I've got some, uh, what do they call it, some xylol, which they say to use for thinner. They also make their own thinner, but I would have to order that, and I wouldn't be able to get it today. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try taking a little bit and see if that xylol cleans it. If it does, then my next step will be to fill up a bottle of this, get up under the Volkswagen, pick a spot, and start spraying it. There's a lot of spots on this car that need spraying. A lot of little rusty spots are popping out. And I'm thinking, well, if this works, I can use it over here on this car. You know, because I don't want to big make a big goopy bunch of paintbrush marks and stuff all over it when I do it. I'd like to pick out a little area and spray it with this little gun and then have it kind of be rust proof there and then come back later and sand and paint over it. So that's where we're at. 